Hello guys, welcome to my video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a sword in Roblox Studio. Let's begin. First we will open our Roblox Studio and open our game. Um, so let's see how big the sword should be. Let's search it up. Yeah, this one. So it is like 4 studs. Let's delete this, we won't need it. Create a part, set it to smooth plastic. Go to model and set move to 0 0.25. Uncheck the collisions. Now we should make this smaller. Yeah, like that. Now let's create a wedge. Just copy the size and paste it. Duplicate them all and you will get a cool looking model. Now go to insert object and search for corner wedge part. Yeah, this one. And place four of them. At this point I got confused. How do I fix this? It does fit in, but it doesn't look sharp. After I tested different variations of sharp endings, I got even more confused. Let's go ahead and delete this, as well as undo the things. Maybe we should scale these. Nah, no, still the same. Then I got an idea. I should cut out these sides. Let's create a wedge. Now we should negate them, select all parts, and click Union. Whoa, that looks amazing, I mean, perfect. Okay, so let's create a brown part. Heal it down. Now we should create a wedge. Just copy and paste the size, put it here, and then duplicate them for each side. Yeah, like that. Well, that looks good. For this one, I tried scaling these gray parts, and it was horrible. I also tried with a cylinder, and it was horrible too. Then I got an idea. I made a small brown part, and then I launched the plugin called Archimedes 2. If you want to learn more about this plugin, click on the top right corner, there will be a video about it. Now we should move it towards the center. Then we will go back to plugins and launch the plugin called Building Tools by F3X. If you want to learn more about this plugin, click on the top right corner, there will be a video about it. This plugin is useful for this because I can scale more parts at the same time. Now group them and adjust them to your liking. And for the end, we will copy these parts and place them on the end. And that's it! I'm really happy with how it turned out. And now, when you have a base, you can make different variations of sword to fit into your game. I will leave a link to this model in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like these. And as well, leave the comment on what should I make next. I hope I will see you in my next video.